Member for Surrey White Rock. Member, might I remind you to unmute? Sorry, I double clicked it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. You don't know how pleased I am to be rising to speak in the legislature today. As most of you know, about 10 months ago, before COVID-19, I had my own encounter with a nasty virus while traveling to Brazil with our youngest daughter. I came home with what seemed like a bad flu, which went away almost as quickly as it came until about three weeks later when I was suddenly unable to walk upstairs or walk from my car to my office without stopping. I was diagnosed with viral myocarditis or an inflammation of the heart muscle due to a virus. Viral myocarditis affects the heart's ability to pump blood to the rest of the body. If not addressed, it can lead to congestive heart failure and sudden death. Symptoms are shortness of breath, fatigue, and edema, and typically follow within two to four weeks of having a virus. If you have symptoms like this after having had a cold or flu, consult your doctor because this can be life-threatening. Uh, uh, viral myocarditis can affect anyone, including young adults, children, and infants, and it's the third leading cause of death in young adults and children in the U.S. It's also relatively rare. In the U.S., it affects 22 out of 100,000 people annually. And for the most part, people recover fully. However, in some cases, the disease can be deadly for reasons not well understood. And in my own case, it was almost catastrophic, taking out 80% of my heart function. It's been a long road back. I'm here today thanks to the incredible skill of my family GP, Dr. Andreas Bradenkamp, and my cardiologist, Dr. Vicki Bernstein, as well as numerous other cardiologists, acute care specialists, and the incredible nursing staff at VGH. Their outstanding care ensured that I would continue to be here for my family and my community, and I'm eternally grateful to them. I'd also like to recognize my many colleagues, constituents, friends, and the many people in this legislature on all sides of the House who reached out to support me and my family during this difficult time. Notwithstanding a life-altering illness, I feel very blessed to have had your support. And from the bottom of my now, thankfully, much smaller heart, I thank you all. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.